the home of local Christian music. Amplify Podcast. Make loud his praise. Hold us back to praising With everything we have in us As one Together lifting up his name With passion For Christ our King We stand united With hearts and minds We come together surrendered Our lives as living sacrifices As one Ever lifting up his name with fire For Christ our King And everyone, everyone together In unity and purity and freedom And shout his name and shout his name forever Forever We're gonna give all we've got We're gonna praise with our own We're gonna dance like never before All the enemies as one An army lifting up his name with power For Christ our King And everyone, everyone together In unity and purity and freedom To shout his name and lift his name forever Sweet
masses The strong and the trembling Forget what your past is He took on the reckoning Fire and flood He took him out with his blood Now I take him out cause I'm free Doubt is around, can't hold back the power within me I'm strong but not in myself Hoping in nobody else Don't wanna be stunned in the front I ain't gonna live for a shell In authenticity, can't take a seat Shame in his cronies can fall on their knees Cause I got a love that will never, ever, ever Turn his back on me Welcome everyone to another episode of Amplify Podcast and I'm Douglas from Amplify Studios and today we are going to have an exciting and uplifting episode just for you and not only that we are changing up our podcast a little bit after hearing your feedback and suggestions we are changing our podcast to bite size meaning it's going to be a little bit shorter but we are releasing a new episode every week now instead of every fortnight so you don't have to wait and we pray that you will have fresh manner every time you hear our podcast and we want to thank all of you for your support and encouragements too especially all those who came alongside to help us along the way and anyway the first two songs you heard in the beginning are S1 from Generations Worship and Powered by One by New Creation Worship. These two songs were sung by the youths from Cornerstone Community Church and New Creation Church respectively. And coming right up, we have three more songs to play for you and they are Breath of Heaven by Josh Yeo, Crown of Thorns by YCCA Worship and Glory to Glory by City Worship. We also will be reading a beautiful devotion from Experiencing God by Henry and Rachel Blackaby. But first, right now, today, we will be featuring a short excerpt of our second episode of BTS, which is Behind the Song segment where we interview songwriters on how they wrote the song and what they mean. And today, we are featuring Ling Jia Hao from Fireplace Worship, where he will be talking about his song, Praise to the One. So if you want to watch the video, you can head down to our YouTube channel to watch all of our Amplify videos. But if you want to watch the full video interview, you can be our patron. And as our patron, you not only enjoy watching all of our premium video content or privileges, you also get to support us in our vision, which is to see revival in our land through the local worship songs that are inspired by the breath of God. So if you want to see revival, Join us as a patron today. Head out to our website at www.amplifystudiosg.com and go to our support page and do follow us on our Instagram page, Facebook as well as like and subscribe our YouTube channel. So without further ado, do sit back, relax and enjoy this short excerpt of BTS. Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode of BTS, which is Behind the Song. And this is an episode where we interview songwriters about how they write the song and what the song is all about. And today we have Tia Hao with us from Fireplace Worship. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for taking time and uh, to talk to us. And um, you're going to talk to us about your song, Praise to the One. Uh, could you share with us, it's such a powerful song, share with us um, what is this song all about? What is the meaning behind, you know, Praise to the One? Um, when writing out the lyrics, um, I realised that the Lord was leading me into making a declaration. And it was a declaration over people who were broken or lost or felt far away from God and even felt like they couldn't maybe come back to God. But in the song, it talks about these individuals hearing a distant drum beat. 
So it's not a drum beat that's in your face, but it is a drum beat that is awakening something within their hearts. And how God wants to call them back from a place of hopelessness, back into hope, a place where they are lost, back into purpose and destiny. Wow, that's powerful. So how do you start to write this song? Like, was it with uh, yourself or with someone? Or how was it like in the whole uh, songwriting process? So it was by myself and part of the song I've actually written out before, but I just couldn't find a, a fit for that portion. But it all came together one strange day actually. We were in New Zealand, um, so my whole family, we were doing a missions course and we were staying in this like little house and um, when I woke up one morning, it was the strangest thing because the moment I opened my eyes, I literally had a melody in my heart. And the best way I could describe that feeling was, it's as though something was resting on me. And so <laughs> I woke up and the melody was there and I started to write out the entire song and combining with what I've written before and that became the whole song.
worship the Lord tonight. On this Pentecost Sunday, would you pour out your spirit again, God? Just like you did before.
Devo. Be refreshed, be renewed, be restored. Not lost in the crowd. Luke chapter 19 verse 5. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down because today I must stay at your house. In our large world, it's easy to feel that we are nothing more than an insignificant speck in the midst of a multitude. Our world tends to depersonalize us, seeking to make us like everyone else. But God loves us in specific ways that are particular to us. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem to fulfill his assignment on the cross. The multitudes thronged around him in such numbers that the diminutive Zacchaeus could not see Jesus until he climbed the tree. Zacchaeus would have been satisfied simply to catch a glimpse of the great teacher. But Jesus stopped, turned, and looked directly at him. In that moment, Zacchaeus was oblivious to the crowd around him. 
thus began a special time with Jesus that radically changed his life. Jesus will relate to you in ways that are unique to you. He knows your past. He knows what you will face in the future. Because He knows everything about you, His word to you will perfectly fit the circumstances of your life. You may be in a group of Christians who are listening to God's word and you may hear things from Him that no one else hears. Don't become frustrated with others if they are not as excited about a truth from God as you are. Don't be impatient with them if they are not implementing God's word in their lives exactly as you are. God will personalize His word to you. He will relate to each and of your friends in a way that specifically meets their needs as well. This devotion is taken from the book Experiencing God by Henry and Richard Beckaby from Lifeway Christian Resources.
You're listening to the home of local Christian music. Amplify Podcast. Make loud his praise.